gonna tell you, your rumor is right. This could be a big bust. Yep. The source says it's connected to the Bryson murder. Sheriff Bryson from downstate? Yep. He was killed in that shootout. Killed? He took nine slugs from an automatic weapon. He was very killed. Same kind our guy's pumping out. Bryson had been on the case for months. He was convinced he'd locked onto a major dealer with a very organized delivery system. I know, I know. He was murdered and all the leads vanished, right? Until now, the source thinks the dealer's resurfaced here. This big hell. This is real big. Yeah. You take this guy down, it's gonna be a little feather in your cap. I guess that's why you decided to handle it on your own, huh? Too bad about having to drag along the department psycho for backup. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> Careful. Guy can get hurt. He's late. What's he driving? We're looking for a 95 Cabot Conestoga. A van? Mm-hmm. I thought Bryson was pretty sure that this guy was breaking his load down into smaller units. No, well, he didn't live long enough to prove it, did he? I'm impressed, though. You did your homework. Good. I am trained to stay on top of things. Of course, that's all changed since I've been a little stressed out lately. Tell you what, let's not start, okay? Why not? I mean, what the hell? We're both here, you and me, just like old times. We can just... Is that okay? No, the source says the van is blue. <sighs> this darn impulsive behavior. Must be such a drag for you to work with the Looney Tunes, huh? Being alert is not being impulsive, and I never said you were a Looney Tunes. You act like one. You never really had to say it. Especially when post-traumatic stress disorder is such a classy term. I gotta tell you, I wish I'd been a little more prepared for this stakeout, Hal. Could have brought the kids. I don't think that's too funny. Well, please, sir, don't sanction me for a bad sense of humor, please, sir. You know what's a, If you've got a problem with my sanctioning you, you're welcome to appeal it. Oh. But you're not going to do that. And you know why? Because you know damn well there isn't a review board in the state that's not going to back me up. I was right, you were wrong, period. Why don't you just leave? Because it's not about the sanction. You've been all over me ever since the miraculous plane crash, and I don't like it, all right? I have not been all... No, I know that guy. That's not him. Petty dealer. Relax. He doesn't know it. I have not been all over you, Margo. What I've been doing is doing my job. My job. And part of my job is to look after the fitness of my people, Margo. I stand by every decision that I made about you, including the one to keep you off the streets. You wouldn't be here right now if I wasn't desperate. I know that. Good, because if I think you need time off, time off is what you're going to get. And I don't care how much dust you kick up or how much blue flu hits my oh, squad. Oh, for God's mom. sakes, I didn't want them to take that action, and you know it. All I want to do, Hal, is my job. But you're preventing me from doing my job for personal reasons, right? What the hell are you talking about? You're using your new promotion and my problems to get back at me, aren't you? For what? For something that's been gnawing at you for years. The fact that I'm raising our son and you're not. Adam has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do. Adam is written all over everything you're doing. Look, I am capable of separating my personal life and my professional life. The day that I am not is the day that I turn in my badge. <laughs> oh, please. Come on, you're a cop, not a machine. Everything that happens in our life affects our work. It does all of us. It certainly does you. You've been through a lot, Hal. Man, there is nothing going on in this alley. Is this guy going to show or what? You trust this source? I wouldn't be sitting here listening to you blabber if I didn't. Well, then we wait. All right. 
night. I admit things have been a little rocky for me lately, but I'm over it. I'm okay. I don't think so. I think you better take a good, long, hard look at your domestic life. You know last what? Year. That's just my business. No, it's just my business when you take it out on me. Which I'm not. You are. All right, in the last year, you and Barbara separated. She took your two kids, two kids that you love very much. I see them all the time. No, no, it's not the same. It's not the homespun thing, the hands-on thing. That would drive a control freak like you just I'm not a control freak. up the freak. wall, and then there you are, hanging on the wall, and you find out from your first wife that she had a little baby girl and didn't tell you. Are you going somewhere with this? Because if you're not, I could do without the stroll. Yeah, I'm, I'm going lane. someplace real specific. You had two wives who ripped you off. Now, anybody would be upset about that. I would be, too. Two wives who took away your children, I both see. for different reasons. I see where you're going with this. I see. I hate them so much that it's spilling over onto you, huh? I resent you because you've got my kids. I don't deserve your resentment. If you recall, when just... Adam was born, we talked it through. And we decided that I would right. be the best person to raise him. That was right. your choice, Hal. Read my your lips, choice. Margo. I do not resent. Then why the hell did you come down so hard on me about Adam? Because I was crap? worried about him, Margo. That? That's why you weren't playing with a full deck. You risked his life. Oh, but that's not the point. I realize that. I mean, it's inexcusable that a mother would take her child to a shoot. Uh, yeah. I have never, ever done anything to, that wasn't in that kid's best interest, ever, in all that time. One mistake? What's his mistake? One mistake is no reason to take away my kid. Which I'm not doing. Am I taking away your kid? You've considered it, though, haven't you, Hal? Yes, you have. You know how insecure that makes me feel. You don't deserve that. Tom doesn't deserve that. Okay. I did consider taking Adam away from you, Margo. And maybe, maybe it had something to do a little with the stuff that Barbara and Linda pulled. But I am past all that now. Listen to me, please. I do not want to take Adam away from the only home that he has ever known. I do not want to hurt him, no. I do not want to hurt you, especially after everything you did. My God. You're such a swell guy, Al. Well, you know what? You can think about me what you damn well choose to think about me, but it's the truth. I hated questioning your ability to care for Adam after the crash, and I hated coming down on you so damn hard at the station. Oh, I that, hated it. listen to you, that is such a load of bull. You've well, been on a power trip ever since you got this promotion. Oh, bull, I'm sick that's of it. I'm bull. sick of you. I'm sick of working underneath you. I'm sick of sitting in this car with you, for God's hey. sake. Hey! Find somebody else to get hey. around. You know what? Make the bust yourself, big man. You're not walking what? out on me. Hey, what? You giving me a direct order, Lieutenant? No. It's a request for help from your friend. You said that bringing me out here tonight was a desperate move. I was the last available detective. Oh, I say a lot of things. Look, Margo, the truth of the matter is I need you here because I really want tonight to go right near the best damn detective in the department. Thanks, Hal. It's the truth. And you deserve to be chief of detectives, Margo. I'm not going to say that I wasn't jealous and it didn't hurt me when you got it, but even I had to admit they made a good choice when they gave you the job. They make a good choice when they took it away from me? I think so, yeah. In my opinion. It was just lousy timing, Margo. If that promotion had come at any other time, you'd still have the job. If you were on your feet, you would have aced yeah, it. Yeah, I wasn't on my feet. I didn't ace it. You'd just been through something horrible, something traumatic, Margo. You survived it, yeah, but emotionally, you, you were totaled. Analyze. You need time to heal. You please don't Look, I understand what's going on. Believe me. If I were you, I'd be doing the same thing. What would you be doing? What would that be? I'd be ignoring how much I was hurting. I'd be working around the clock. I'd refuse to listen to anybody, and I'd fight with anybody who tried to tell me what was going on. Exactly, exactly what you do. Right, and exactly what you do, Marco, but you need to stop, do you see? You need to give yourself time to heal. But 
It goes totally against my nature, Hal. I see something wrong, I want to write it. I want to take action. I know, I know. I'd be doing the same thing. Yeah. I would. But sometimes we need somebody to slow us down. Really, what you're doing for me is in my best interest. Don't you get it? I'm hard on you because I care. Because you're superior, I want to make damn sure that you get the time that you need to heal. And as your friend, I'm going to protect you, Marco, whether you like it, whether the guys like it. Between you and me, if anybody else had pulled what you pulled in that hostage situation and it came out the way it did, I, I probably would have looked the other way. Probably would. Yeah. But I can't with you, you see, because I don't want Adam to lose you. I don't want to lose you, Marco. I don't know what I'd do without you. I, this past few months, I know I've been real hard on you. Hey, what are friends for? It's just that I've gone through a lot, and I just hate to admit. Hey, don't tell me. I wrote the book, and I hate to admit. <laughs> so, all right, I will take whatever you dish out. Really? Yep. All assignments, all sanctions. Accept him with a smile. Oh, careful. I get nervous when you get hurt. Listen, I had to tell you, I'm not going to fight you, but you don't have to protect me. You don't. I... I think I'm better. Really lick the post-traumatic stress thing I have. Glad to hear it. So, I'll... I'll do what you tell me to do. I won't do any hot rodding. I won't take any risks. I... I All right. That's our boy. Party time. Okay. I got your back. What are you doing? You go in, I back. We go together. Whatever you say, sir. Sure.